Hey everybody, so I have decided to start making videos again. It's been like 10 or 8 or 9 months, I don't know, a long time since I did a video. And a lot has changed. So before I start making videos on just random subjects or doing random things again, um, I should probably clear some things up. As of right now, I am 100% single and that's a big change. Um, it's a change that happened a couple months ago. But I feel like I need to talk about it because if you go through my YouTube, you see a lot of videos of myself with Stafford, um, my ex-boyfriend, and yeah, that can be kind of awkward. And I don't want to delete them because I, I love them and I, I still love him to death and he's amazing and he's doing well. He, didn't, he no longer lives with me and we're trying to kind of maintain a friendship, but we're talking like very seldom. So it works for us and it's working great for us. So. Yeah, um, I feel like I need to talk about that because, like I said, I'm not going to go through and delete all the videos. I feel like that would be really awkward and weird and be like missing a big piece of my life. But I included him in all those videos and I feel like going forward with the stuff I might talk about in videos, um, it's best that I clear it up and say, hey, yeah, I'm single. And so um, that's why I talk about the stuff I talk about. And... Um, talk about guys and whatever else I happen to talk about. I just want to be free to be able to talk about anything without it being a, like, wow, he's he's with somebody and he's talking about this stuff. So, yeah. Um, we ended things. He has a different route he's taken in his life. I have a different route that I'm taking in my life. And we just decided that it's best that we not continue in a, a relationship. But since I included him in everything, like I said, I feel like I need to kind of clear that up and put that out there um, that he won't be in any videos for the future that I know of. It could happen, but I doubt it. Um, so that's, that's a change. Um, over the last eight or ten months, a lot of things have changed. Um, I still live in Orlando, still do photography, um, working on some writing, telling stories from my time on the streets, my travel, um, creating stories. Um, I'm getting ready to go back to school. I'll be going to school for creative writing and uh, communications. So that's happening. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like where my life is now. Single, about to go back to school, still doing photography, still writing, still telling stories, still doing everything I was before. And now I'm ready to start making videos again. So, um, but before I got started, I wanted to kind of put that out there that that was a change that happened and so needed to be talked about and yeah so Stafford is still doing great he's doing amazing as far as I know and I'm doing great and we both have just moved on in different routes so first video talking about being single it's crazy being single is amazing like I love it but I put myself back out there on apps and on websites and I'm meeting people and saying that I'm single kind of like opens up the door for, um, how do I say it, really desperate people um, who really just want a relationship or want to rush towards a relationship or being married and settling down and this is not what I want. It wasn't what I wanted when I met Stafford. It isn't what I want now. And so that's a big struggle with it is that I have to handle some people that are a little bit desperate and just wanting to rush towards like crazy things that I have no interest in. I'm enjoying being single. I'm able to work towards stuff that I need to work towards. I can make friends and then they go on their way and do their thing after we hang out and I do my thing and I love that. It's perfect. Um, so that's been kind of a, a thing. It's interesting. It's really interesting to get back on the apps and I guess dating sites, but not really dating sites for me, like just more so to make friends and um, move forward with my life. So that's, like I said, it's been interesting. Um, and that's where I'm at. I am working towards a better me and getting on a more stable ground. I'm going to use my GI Bill to go back to school. GI Bill actually will pay me money um, for living, basically, and going to school. So um, be doing that and be doing my photography still. 
uh, working towards some great things with my photography, hopefully, um, and and writing. And um, I really, sadly, but I can admit it, I lost myself in the relationship with Stafford, and it wasn't his fault, and I don't blame him at all. Not at all. It was completely my choice, and it was a bad move. And I basically paused my life for two years, and that's tough. And now um, I'm seeing that as I'm on the outside of it. I'm seeing it and learning to hopefully not ever let that happen again. Lose myself a little, but not like like I did with that. If it were to ever happen, then I end up in a relationship again. Um, like I have to keep a focus on me. And yeah, it was just really, really bad. As you can see, probably in the videos, like everything included Stafford, like everything was about Stafford. And I think that was a lot for him to even have to handle. And yeah, it was just, it was, it was bad. So we're, I am moving towards a better place where I don't feel like I need to be in a relationship to be happy or I need to always be working to make someone else happy. Like everything was about, for me in my eyes, was about making Stafford happy. Not not worrying about getting my stories out there, not worrying about my future and doing more artistically with my future um, and making something of myself. It was all about making Stafford happy. And with that, it was about like, like every decision I made, I thought about what is Stafford's mom going to think? Because she's going to fall down on him whenever she sees that I messed up with something or that I did something wrong. And a lot of my photography has to do with like nudity and being very vulnerable and telling a story. And a lot of times when I tell stories with photography, it ends up being using nude models. And so I cut that all out and I stopped doing nude shoots altogether because I was like, Stafford's mom sees this. She's going to go off on him. And yeah, I don't want him to have to handle that. So I cut that out and that was a big piece of what I did. Like that was... That's a huge piece of it's it's a huge piece of who I am. Not that it has to be nude or whatever, but that helps tell the story in a more vulnerable way to where it's more human like. And I cut that out and it cut a big piece of myself out, but I was willing to do that and make that sacrifice because I didn't want to be an embarrassment to Stafford or Stafford's family. So I changed that and it's something I probably shouldn't have changed. Like it's something I probably should have continued to do even though it might affect them. But it's who I was and if they didn't like who I was then oh well, you know, then we move on faster. We we break up and get out of that faster. But I don't feel like it was an embarrassment to Stafford. Stafford I don't think really cared. But his parents, I didn't want to phase them. So everything I did was around trying to get by, like I still did photography, but doing so in a way that wouldn't be an embarrassment to him or his family and have them on his tail about everything. So, and everything I was doing was basically to make them happy and that's just not who I am and I became something that, that I really am not. But it's not, by any means do I put the blame on them or on Stafford, it was a choice that I made and I made that choice and I lived with it. And now I'm moving towards what I feel is a better me. More creative, more artistic, and sharing openly without any kind of worry about what people might think. I could give a shit less what people might think. I That's not what I'm about. So, yes, single, dealing with desperate people, moving forward to a better me. <laughs> that's where I'm at. And so stay tuned for hopefully more videos. I just wanted to kind of give an introduction and say, hey, this has changed over the last eight or 10 months or however long. And yeah, but I'm gonna come back and make more videos, hopefully. Um, I don't have a planned schedule for it. I'm just gonna make videos as I see fit and we'll just go with it. But I'm glad I got that out of the way. Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for all the subscribers. Like ever since like I left like 10 months ago, I think we've gone from like 70 something subscribers to like 120 something, which is pretty amazing. So thank you and welcome if you subscribed during that time and sorry I didn't make any videos, but I'm back. 
and I'm excited to be back and sharing my life and ideals and thoughts and my creative work. So look forward to chatting soon, and I will talk to you later.